Um, Jumanji, my take on it. I love it. It has awesome actors. It's funny. It's comedy. It's drama. It's action. Um, Robin Williams, hysterical as always. Bonnie Hunt, hysterical. Kirsten Dunst, like right after like being interviewing the vamp with a vampire, and then you have the kid that no one really remembers. No one really remembers his name. Bradley Pierce. I had to IMDb it because I couldn't remember his name. But uh, it's it's a metaphor of life. The, the whole game concept coming to life and, you know, you roll the dice. As in life, you roll the dice and you have to deal with the consequences of what happens after you roll the dice. And if you're not willing to deal with the consequences, you know, other things happen. Um, and it's for Robin Williams's character as a child, he has to realize as an adult, like the consequences he has to deal with for what he did at the beginning of the movie. And the game, I mean, like, it, it I mean, he, they start playing it, him and Bonnie Hunt's characters as children start p playing it. And then it's like, Okay, we're not even think about it. You don't think about when you're playing a board game, anything, or f reading all the rules. And then he ends up stuck literally in the game until someone rolls a five or an eight. And then years later, like 30 years later, some children stumble upon it and they roll the dice and they play the game. Which I'm shocked that no one else has played the game. In like 30 years, like it's just been up there. People have gone through the house several times and it's been up there for like 30 years and no one's played this board game that's just sat up there until these two children happen to come along and hear it. And we're just like, yes, let's play a board game. But I mean, at the end of the movie, you get a, a sense of happiness and closure and everyone like, even, even these two kids that are even Robin Williams, like, his or Bonnie's, like, children, they become sort of children to them in their eyes, and so later when they're adults and they stumble upon them, they're, like, trying to protect them, even so far to make sure that their parents don't die. The whole Kirsten character is a pathological liar, and her brother doesn't talk. If only my brother wouldn't be talking, it'd probably be my life. I board game came to life. Yeah. If only. Probably not. In my head. I should stop.